Eating during training is always difficult just because your body needs time to digest but sometimes we skate the four hours all in a row so you need to make sure that your body's getting energy but at the same time if you're digesting too much you're not going to feel that comfortable skating so I to bring food onto the ice every once sun dried tomato or tomato basil which one like an apple on the ice or a banana or a protein bar or something like that. For me, I always like liquids during training because we train mostly morning. You know, maybe you're done by two or three. You don't eat that much while you're actually using the calories and you finish, you're hungry for the rest of the night. Those are steaks. Man meat. I prefer to eat things like soup, protein shakes, things that I either don't feel like I'm eating a lot or that are just easier to digest while I'm skating. So then after skating, I'm not as hungry. So that's always kind of a difficult part. I don't shy away from calories. I shy away from certain food groups. I don't really do dairy anymore. But from the moment I wake up to probably a couple hours before I go to bed, I'm probably going to be munching on something all day. Breakfast and then like a snack and then we'll skate and I'll have a snack in between sessions and then I'll have something after skating and then I'll have a little break and then I'll have something else after dinner. <laughs> I eat all day, it's great. <laughs> I've worked with nutritionists pretty much my whole career. It is a very aesthetic sport. People are pretty hard on the women in this sport for making sure that they have a good body. And it's like we're expected to do athletics, but then to not look like an athlete, but to look like a dancer. <laughs> So it is always a struggle, or always has been for me, to find a good balance. So I've worked a lot with nutritionists, and one of the things I enjoyed about becoming vegan, it's been like four months now, is just in general I feel, first my stomach feels really good, I feel a constant energy and I don't have the sensation that you get sometimes after eating where it's hard to digest, that your stomach hurts, it's just like a very free feeling. Also, what I like is that I don't feel as constricted in quantity. Also because as you are a vegan, you eat a lot more vegetables. It's less calorie dense food. But that's always been something that I, no matter what diet I try during training, because I don't want to eat so much in volume, I pick more calorie dense food in the morning and while I'm training. Whether it's fruit, oats, peanut butter, things like that. With one or two bites, you have a good punch of calories. And then towards the end of the day, as I'm done training, as my metabolism starts slowing down towards the evening, then I focus more on non-calorie dense food. So I can have a large plate for lunch or for dinner, but with it mostly being vegetables, the sensation is that you're more full, but you aren't consuming too much in the evening. Weekends are spent mostly sleeping and eating. Mm. Man meal! not have all your eggs in one basket and only be a skater. There are other things we enjoy doing. I ride my bike everywhere. In the summer I was rollerblading. I think it depends on each person, right? And, and each person's sport as well. Just because maybe tennis translates a little easier into running, our sport isn't really that much like tennis or running. <laughs> I actually watched something recently, a, a day in the life of a ballerina actually. And she was also saying like, I, I like to walk, I like to hike on the weekend and stay active, but I was always told ballerinas shouldn't run. And I think we deal with a lot of overuse injuries because it's a very global sport, skating. You know, like we have to be strong because we have to push and generate our own flow, but we have to have really good balance. We have to be flexible. We have to be expressive. We have to have a lot of range of motion, but but it's a tough sport, kind of like dance, and every year it changes a bit with different themes, different programs, different things we have to adapt to. I think that most of the weekends are spent resting, recovering, and staying active is always good. Like, I don't like to take two days doing absolutely nothing because then usually Monday you feel you're not that coordinated, but it's always just having to find that balance. And we continue to report to our trainers on the weekend so that they see, like, maybe on Friday we're very tired, we're very sore and they want to see that decline so that Monday morning you kind of start fresh again. Any activity you do, we, we let them know so that they can say, okay, well, you went for an hour hike on Saturday and you didn't show enough recovery for Sunday. So next time, try only 30 minutes. So nothing's kind of happening by mistake this year. We're making sure that everything is analyzed and planned.